Hello, good day viewers. If you are ready, let us solve these two problems. The first one is already on the board. It reads, the length of a rectangle is five centimeter more than its width. If its area is 50 centimeters squared, find its perimeter. So first of all, let us form a sketch. This is a rectangle. Here is the length, while here is the width. From the question, you can see none of the sides were given because it only stated that the length is five more than the width. So we can just say the length is five plus the width because the length is five more than the width. So whatever the width is plus five will give us the length. We know that length multiplied by the width will give us the area. So from here, we can find our area equal to length multiplied by the width. But area is given from the question as 50 centimeters squared. So we can say 50 equals, length is now equal to five plus w. We have five plus w multiplied by w again, because we say length times width is equal to our area. The length is five plus w, while the width remain w. So now let us expand this parenthesis. 50 will now be equal to w times five is five w. w times w is w squared. So our expression is in the quadratic form, which we can rearrange as w squared plus five w. If 50 crosses over, it becomes negative 50. And we have equal to zero because we have already eliminated 50 from the left-hand side. So we can solve this quadratic equation by factorization. W here, W here. So we are going to think of two numbers, which when we multiply them together, we get negative 50, and when added up together, we get positive five. The numbers are negative five and positive 10, because minus five times 10 is negative 50. Negative five plus 10 is equal to positive five. So if we set each of these to be equal to zero, W minus five equals zero, or W plus 10 is equal to zero. If negative five crosses over, it becomes positive. Hence, we say W equals five here. Or from here, if 10 crosses over, it becomes negative. W equals negative 10. Therefore, width is either five or negative 10 but we do not have a negative length. And hence we conclude by saying our W, which is the width is equal to five cm. But what are we looking for? We are asked to find the perimeter. Perimeter is the total length around the rectangle. If here is W, here will also be W, and here will also be five plus W. So we see W plus W plus five plus W plus five plus W all round will give us perimeter donated by P. So our formula is always two bracket length plus width. P will now be equal to two. In the bracket, our L is five plus W and our W is five, so it means five plus five equal to 10. Our L is 10 plus W is five, so we have five here. This is equal to two multiplied by whatever is in the bracket. We have 10 plus five equals 15. And finally, two times 15 is 30 cm, therefore, the perimeter of this rectangle is 30 cm. So now let us look on to the last question, which is the second question. 
So here is the second question. It says the sum of two numbers is 27, while their product is 50. We are asked to find the numbers. What this question is trying to tell us is that there are two particular numbers which we don't know and we are looking for them. That if you add them together, you get 27. And when you multiply them together, you get 50. What are the numbers? Since the numbers are unknown, we can declare them with some variables. So let the numbers be x and y. The first equation, x plus y, will give us this 27. Call this equation 1. And second equation, if you multiply them together, you get this 50. Equation 2. Um, from equation 1, we can make either x or y the subject, then we plug in the, the subject into the second equation. So we say from equation 1, um, x plus y equals 27. Let us make x the subject. x will be equal to if y crosses over, it becomes negative. So we have 27 minus y. We can call this equation number 3. So we can plug in x into the second equation. From equation equation 2, we have, instead of x, we write 27 minus y. So we have 27 minus y multiplied by y itself. The whole of this equal to 50. So we can expand this parenthesis. This time this. 27y minus y times y is y squared. The whole of this equal to 50. We can rearrange this equation. We have negative y squared, then plus 27y. If 50 crosses over, it becomes negative 50. And to the right, we have 0. But we can further rearrange this equation by eliminating this negative sign. If you eliminate this sign, it means that we are going to multiply each time by a negative sign. So if you multiply negative y squared by negative, it becomes positive. If you multiply this by negative, it becomes negative here. And if you multiply this by negative, it becomes positive. So we are now free to solve this quadratic equation to obtain the value of y. You can take down the question so that I can wipe the top. From here, by factorization, we have something like this. We have y here, we have y here. We are going to think of two numbers, which when we multiply them together, we get positive 50. And when added up together, we get negative 27. The numbers are negative 2 and negative 25. Because negative times negative is positive, 2 times 25 is 50, minus 2 minus 25 is minus 27. If you set each of these factors to be equal to 0, the first factor will be y equals 2 if 2 crosses over, and the other one will be y equals 25. But we have to find x as well. We can call this one y1 and y2. To find the corresponding value of x, you can see it from equation 3. It says x equals 27 minus y. So our x1 will be equal to, uh, from here, 27 minus y1. What is our y1? is 2. And hence, x1 will now be equal to 25. Then for, for x2, will be equal to 27 minus y2, and our y2 is 25. x2 now is equal to positive 2. So finally, x and y are either, first group we have 25, and 2, or x and y could either be 2 and 25. 
So these are the two possible solutions. X can appear to be 25 or positive 2, while Y is 25 here. And when X is 25, definitely Y is going to be 2. To test whether this statement is true, it says if you add them together, you get 27. And when you multiply them together, you get 50. 25 plus 2 is 27. 25 times 2 is 50. 2 plus 25 is 27. And 2 times 25 is 50. So you see, uh, definitely this is the possible solution. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.